kind of forgot to point this out entirely, but may I point out to you, holy crap did the area change so much over time. We were in a forest, we were on a beach, we were in a train depot, and now we're in a goddamn science lavatory. Man, we really explored a long way. Hey there everybody, Dmod Dmod here, and welcome back to some more Poke Park 2 Wonders Beyond. In the last episode, we made it down here to the science torium after doing a bunch of shenanigans with some clinging, some clang, and some cling clangs. Those are fun names to say. And we made it down here, we helped Reconculus get his device working, and now we have the ability to use the prototype of all of the poster portals. That's right, this is the origin of it all. And we finally get to use it too. Should be exciting. That's exactly what we're doing in this video. Now let me see here, who should be in charge? You know what? Pikachu, you're doing it. You get the honors. Alright. Let's check it out. This portal opens when everyone concentrates on their dreams. If you make friends with tiny Pokemon, it'll open more easily. Well, since we make friends with Joltik, I'm gonna guess that means we have an instant win. Ready to give it a try? Yes, we will. Let's go. Alright, here we go. Roll call, everyone. Wow, we've been friends with a lot of Pokemon, actually. Jeez. I knew we had a good chunk of them, but I didn't think we had this many. Alright, let's get going. Go for it. And, oh yeah, we got this no problem. I'm gonna guess the game doesn't suspect you to go out of your way to make friends of every Pokemon off the bat. But if you do, these things aren't even hard at all. I mean... Let's just see how much friendship power, friendship power we can make out of this. Let's see. And that's definitely the most we've ever had. Definitely the coolest portal we've been through, that's for sure. Here we are. Hey Pikachu, remember what Kafagriga said? Witch Park has four zones and attractions. We finally reached Witch Park's final zone. We're close to settling this. That's right, people. This area is the final area of Witch Park. Let's get talking to people. It seems that if you play the attraction too much, you won't be able to go back to the ground. But you're already on the ground. What? Maybe she's a maybe Unreal was smart and she didn't even bother. Maybe she knew it was a trap and she didn't listen at all. And whoa! Uh, Curlia? Either you got some mad ballerina skills or something screwy here, cause Damn. Um Who is that? Lumpity, what the hell are you doing? What? This doesn't I don't Everything's messed up. I don't like it. Get me out of here. I don't like it. Things are floating when they shouldn't be. Oh. Hey there, Sigilith. How you doing? One of the weirder Pokemon, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard to believe Pokemon that oppose us have come this far. What were Coffrey, Chandelure, and Gothitelle doing? Well, no matter. This flight zone is Wishbark's final defense. My attraction, Flight of Fancy, won't fall like the others. That's right. Final attraction time, baby. People. I almost tried. I said to say. I tried to say baby and people at the same time, and it came out like that. All right, here we are. Flight of fancy. Fly through the sky and collect a ton, a lot of gems along the way. Dark scores fifteen thousand. So this game has a giant place in my heart for it, and I already know which Pokemon I'm picking for it. But anyways, let's get into the rules. When you want to fly to the side, tilt the Wii to the left or right. If you want to fly up or down, tilt the Wii Remote back and forth. Press 2 while telling the Wii Remote to move faster. Blue Rings give you a speed boost. You can earn more points for gems you grab after the boost wear off. So, yeah! Um, I already knew it. I was gonna pick Tepic for this no matter what. Believe me, I already knew that. Let's get this started. Yes! You're seeing this right, people. Space Bacon. Alright, here we go. Targets for 15,000. So yeah, we're literally flying through space! Collecting rubies. Or gems, whatever you want to call them. 
I have no idea how this happened. I have no idea who made this happen or possible. But good lord, do I love this. Ooh. Look at this! We're flying on the, like, flying, flying freaking whale lord in space. This is the best thing ever. Oh, baby. More gems, let's see. Okay. As you can see here, these gems are actually not really worth that many. So this is the first mini game I'd say if you fail, I understand. Because this one could actually be kind of difficult to pass. So I do not blame you if you fail at once, so don't feel bad. There we go. My tip for you is go in the blue rings and then get as many rings as possible because they're times five the value for each one. Maybe you can rack up your score really quickly if you keep going through the blue rings. And by the way, yes, this is a multiplayer game as well. So you can go flying through space with your friends. God damn, this is beautiful. Ooh, and my speed boost is gone. Alright, let's see here, another blue ring. Okay. A thousand. Well, we already beat it, so how about we just... Oh, you click two to instantly turn. Okay, so it's like a dodge action, kind of. And look at this guy. What is size is what even doing? He's riding on a planet. And he's dropping... Like, I don't even know how to describe this. This is undescribable, man. Some of these games have been weird, but this one is by far the coolest. Alright, let's go. Alright, so... Let me see. Maybe we can double our score. Because I think we double our score in every game but one, so... Maybe we can do it again. And maybe I should stop going for the blue race. I know he's gone, alright. So we're not gonna double it, but hey. Oh, baby, actually we might. No, not even close. Woo! <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Alright, with that, 24,000. Not bad. What a great way to end off the attractions of this game. Now, I didn't want to say anything yet until we did all the attractions, but if you couldn't tell, these mini games are really awesome. There's definitely the ones that are more excited to play than the other ones. Like this one and the dancing one are probably the more exciting ones to play. Or the cake one. I mean, the fighting one wasn't the greatest, but hey, not they all can't be perfect. But all around, I think they were pretty great. <laughs> Just because you beat the flight offense doesn't mean you've won. Ring that bell or the Pokemon will be captives of the flight zone. The real battle starts now. So we have to fight him, huh? Alright, so unlike Goff and Tal, he wants to fight. Okay. As you can probably suspect, we're sticking Pikachu for this. Let's go. If you want to ring the wish bell, you must get past me. Fine with me, baby. Alright, for our battle pose, it's time to ring the goddamn last wish bell. So, it looks like we're gonna be climbing up a tower this time around. And there's some pretty strong Pokemon looking up there. So, that's right. All we gotta do is make it to the top. Easier said than done, from what I can tell. Alright, let's get started. Let's see here. We got a Ponyard. That is a hard to. Ow, okay. You still hit me, but it did nothing. Power through! Aren't tail! Right, I forgot. You can actually hit them, so you don't have to worry about that. You can still hit them, they're not invincible. Alright, iron tail down and keep moving. That's kind of what you gotta do. You gotta be a bit patient. Ow. There we go. Knock him out. No, Pikachu, stop. Run past him. Oh, we have to. Okay, I see it. I see it. So by defeating him, a bridge will appear. That's what we have to get. No, I tried iron tailing him, damn it. I call hacks. Luckily, there's no time limit on this, so you don't have to worry about a time limit screwing you up. And I am doing atrocious. There we go, took him out. And we barely have any HP left, so this is looking great already. <laughs> By the way, yes, it is possible to fall down. Because you probably imagine you really want to avoid that if you can. I walked right in. Are you kidding me, really? At least there's no time limit, so I don't have to worry about that. Alright, let's keep going. Now I kind of wish to pick Snivy, because Snivy's really evasive. Alright. We're gonna wait for him to do a stupid spinny. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, knock him over. He said knock. Him. Whoa, okay, that works too. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, go in. One, two. There we go. We know the pattern now. This should be easy for them. I think you should stop that. Okay, Rog and Rolla. Oh god, they're gonna explode! Look out! 
Whoa, Jesus. Okay, we made it through. All right. Last Pokemon to stop us. Try it again. Not looking forward to this thing at all. It actually stunned them? Really? Wow. I didn't expect, I didn't think that was going to happen because he's a dragon type. Another one. Give him another one. Back it up. All right, we'll use the wall shelter. Stun him one more time. Hopefully this will finish him. No, really? Still? There we go. Took him out. And with a sliver of health left. Not exactly a sliver, but very close to it. We made it. That was nerve-wracking. I really didn't think we were going to do it. Like, jeez. So you made it this far. There's no way around this. I am now your opponent. Now it's time to fight Sigilus, him or herself. With well, a lot of HP, may I mind you. Remind you. Alright, here we go. So as you can probably predict, Thunderbolt's going to be a good move to use here. And those look really cool, actually. I have no idea what move that's supposed to be, but damn, does it look cool. There we go, knock him out of the sky. Let's get some more damage in there while we can. Back it up, back it up. Double hit. Whoa, Nelly! All right. Uh, oh, I hit him. Wow, really? I didn't think I would. All right, hit him over again. Actually, wait, he's just gonna get up, so let's charge another Thunderbolt. Okay, let's see here. More of these. Luckily, he can evade and have a Thunderbolt charge at the same time. All right, let's run up and finish this! There we go. We did it. You know, that Sigilus just took him down. Oh, how could this be? Me, me, how could I have lost? You know, that, I guess he activates the bridge for us. This is being a good sport about it, I guess. Well, with that said, this area is really trippy. You got Pokemon flying all over the sky. They literally have a ballerina who's twirling in midair and never stopping. So, I know it may be fun for some Pokemon, but let's face it, this place is really screwed up. How about we go fix things? been done. Master, I'm sorry, Master. Oh, how horrible. Wish Park, it's coming together. The entrance of Wish Palace is going to be opened. All the areas have combined together. This is the full Wish Park. Sigilus said the entrance to Wish Park was opening. Oh, palace. If it has, I wonder where the entrance is. I don't know, maybe the gigantic star in the center? Hey look, there's something in the middle. Yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about. The shining place is the entrance, isn't it? So yeah, as you can see on the map there, all the areas are now together. Poke Park is now, well not Poke Park, Wish Park is now all its proper glory. This is where it is all combined. So yeah, as you can tell, this Wish Park is actually huge. Like, I think it's bigger than some of the areas we've been in and they're just, and these are little sub areas. However, that's not what we're here to worry about anymore. The entrance to Wish Palace has been opened. So you finally have come this far. The only thing waiting for you is the wish part, palace, and sadness. If that was okay with you, then proceed. 
Well, let's give her. Let's talk to her quickly. If you need to fear any more, then we must take what you hold most dear. If possible, I don't want to do that. Think carefully. All right. So listen to Gafarita's warning. Of course, you would think that. And you're probably gonna be the same thing as that. Her, right? Gafarita can see a little into the future. Huh? Interesting. Anyways, it's pretty clear which palace is awaiting us. And next time on Poke Park 2, we're going in, baby. See you guys then.